Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. The latest bit of information I have for you all is that on August 25th of this year, 2016, will be the UEFA Champions League draw. Why is that significant? A Jamaican international will be involved and who is that? That's Wes Morgan. We will know who his fate will be against the likes of the best of Europe. What must be pointed out is that Leicester City are being put in pot one. So they're not going to face the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona, Juventus, Zenit St. Petersburg, Juventus. So that cluster of teams, Paris Saint-Germain, they're not going to face any of them. Who could Leicester City potentially face? They could face Sevilla, Borussia Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, Man City. It's very interesting to see how things will go over the next couple of weeks or so because this is the first time that a Jamaican international will be playing in the group stages of the Champions League. The last Jamaican to participate in the Champions League was Ryan Thompson, the goalkeeper, when he was playing for Shamrock Rovers. However, it was not in the group stages. It was in the preliminary rounds where in 2011 when he was playing with Shamrock Rovers during that period of time as well, he went and played against teams at Red Star Belgrade as well. And he made a penalty kick save which helped his team to advance to the group stages of the Europa League after being knocked out of the Champions League third round qualifier. And he progressed into the group stages of the Europa League in that season. So kudos to him on that occasion. Here with Wes Morgan, he has a deal with Leicester City until 2019. So this experience is something going to be new for him. And as Jamaicans and Jamaican followers, we look forward to seeing Leicester City and a Jamaican walking into that Champions League anthem and also playing and rubbing shoulders alongside not only the best in Europe, but the best players on the planet. Something fantastic and I'm looking forward to it very much so. It means it's more games for him as well. Does it impact international duty? Not really necessarily. The matches that we have coming up are FIFA dates, so it wouldn't affect him at all, especially the Caribbean Cup matches are well. So we'll just have to take things one day at a time and see how things progress from there. Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you want West Morgan and Leicester City to face in the group stages? Do you want them to go up against the likes of Atletico Madrid? A Tottenham, a Sevilla. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Can you imagine? Let's just see advance into the knockout stages of a Champions League, mm. bucking up, bucking up the likes of uh, Barcelona, or Real Madrid in the round of sixteen, perhaps. A Man City. Who knows? Very, very exciting times ahead, and it has all come to the reward they had after winning the Premier League title. A fantastic achievement. And we look forward to great things ahead for West Morgan as well. He has shown that he has been the definition of hard work for quite some time. Worked his way up. And it's an inspiration not only to professional footballers or aspiring professional footballers, but anyone in any profession. If you want to succeed in life, you work hard. It's as simple as that. Dedicate your time and energy to it. And the rest, everything will fall into place. Have faith and things will work out. I'm Simon Preston, this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to like our Facebook page as well, Reggae Boys Commentary. And don't forget as well to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary here on YouTube. I'm Simon Preston, signing out.